welcome to another fishing adventure. Today we have brought the kayak in this little zigzag here. I'm just dropping some gear off quickly. Fishing gear, camera gear. I need to head back to the main boat, grab some bait and burley. Basically bait that's gonna become burley and some live baits. We're live baiting off the rocks here. Kingfish is the target. Big kingfish, hopefully. Um, managed to catch a few good live baits last night, a couple of trevally, and one koi. I got one koi, which apparently a kingfish lollipop. So yeah, that is the plan. We'll probably lop some baits out, try catch some snapper, throw some stick baits. I brought all the gear, so we're just gonna base ourselves here, get stuck into it. Well, it's pretty damn amazing. Cheers, man. Not sure how many I'll put in. Maybe just three for now or something, eh? There's my liveies. Stay alive for me, would you? Good thing it's like a perfect landing spot. Just oh, yeah. weave in and it's just like just come in and just sit flat on the rocks almost perfect. Yep. It's meant to be. Good? All good, cheers. Yeah, I got it. You got it. I'm ready. That had seen some miles, eh? Yeah. <laughs> I'll send reports of a big kingfish soon, okay? Looking forward to I hope so, anyway. Look at all this. It's just waiting. Look at that, that's what I think the fish are feeding on. Whatever this is. Look at it. The little, like the Trevelyan stuff. Are they eggs? They must be. They look like eggs. I don't know. If someone knows, let me know. But it's just like these little clear cells with a little egg on it. All right, let's get that live bait tank going. Here we go. Let's catch a fish. And my live is going up on the rocks. No, it's been much. Bugger. That's a big fish, I reckon. Oh, it's not that big, but it's decent. Nice size snapper right there. He's swallowed the hook right down, so I'll try and get it out and release, but if he doesn't release, um, we'll take him back to the boat to eat. Sick. Let's deal with him. How's this? My live is gone from there, decided to come here. I had my line, it came in, got wrapped around the rocks. It's sort of swirling and it's it's been a pain. But um hopefully he swims out. Go out mate, go out. And I'm gonna lop another bait out in a sec. Here comes that northerly. Woo! Swirling around here. 
Come on, kings. It has been so quiet for the kingfish. We're in New Zealand and I've only seen like two kingfish in a week. Anyway. At the moment, let me zip this up. I'm getting my face blown off. Um, oh, we are bait, finally, finally. So it's been so quiet, but I see a school of bait coming my direction. There's a few workups out here, actually. It's just been dead all morning so far. And that was going to be my update. And as I pick up the camera, I see fish. So I might cast some stick baits at it. The, um, my live bait has just been hugging the rocks. Just the wind's just, it's meant to be offshore, but I think it's just wrapping around this big cliff here and just swirling and going and pushing it back in. Oh, I think I'm on. Gone. Low tide at the moment and um, I'm kind of stranded actually. Have a look at this. This was full of water before. Right, I came in here. That's how much it's dropped and I came over that. Now I'm going to have to drag in here and drag over that to get back to the cart, to the boat. It's so windy here. It's a pretty good size one. Uh oh. Do a reef there. Yeah, I think this is quite a good size snapper. No monster, I don't think, but reasonable. Unless it's just using that current. Let's have a look. Yeah, just a standard. Don't. I do like this car in out here though. Mine just took off them. Yep. Oh. Oh, that's a big fish. Come on. Oh no. It's kind of like got me over the edge there. It's got to be a pretty big fish, I'd say. Swim out, swim out. I'm nervous. I don't know how long this fight's going to last. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I see. I see him. Got him up here. He's not even as big as I thought, I don't think. No, man, 
This fish just went hard. There we go, beautiful snapper. Gonna release this one. I'm officially out of live bait. Do have a few more dead baits, but I'm pretty much over it. The wind is smashing me. Tomorrow's going to be a heaps nicer day. So I might call it a day, and I want to climb up the hill. There's a path up to the lighthouse, so I'm going to pack everything up. I'm going to leave my rods and stuff here, and most of my fishing gear here, ready to fish early tomorrow morning. And uh, we'll paddle back to the boat, and then head up, go for a walk, go for an explore. Good thing I tied the the kayak off so that it um, didn't wash away, eh? <laughs> I just don't know what the tides are doing that much here. I have vague ideas, but that's about it. I like to be safe. Yeah. Any fish? No kingfish, plenty of snapper. I ran out of liveies and the wind is just hammering me there. It's like swirling and blowing into me. So I can't even get the liveies out far. I just have to like let them sit against the rocks. If I give them line, it just ends up all over the bloody place. Wonder how my, uh, Frank's going. No, I reckon I'll go up the lighthouse and hit it hard again tomorrow when the winds are better. Yeah, yeah. Alright, let's go. Yeah, I'm trying to get it stuck around my Mirage shove. <laughs> I'm working on it. Found the trail. Here we go. Tell you what, I'm very glad there's no snakes here. Oh, we're following like a tram, tram path. You can see the rusty metal each side. Tram or train line. Oh, this is cool. Yeah. This is very nice. I just had a bloody pigeon take off in the bushes and scare the crap out of me because it's so big. I'll try to film it for you guys. Man, it made me jump. Imagine living up here. It doesn't even, it's not even windy here right now. Place is pretty firmly bolted down. Good to see. Wow. I'll live here for a little while. A snapper for dinner every night. Unless I figured out how to catch a uh, kingfish. Wow. Imagine living there. Oh yeah. It's not even that windy up here. No, until you stand up on top of the stone here. Okay. 
and it um, just sort of is a little bit of an envelope yeah i've been yeah. i've been standing here with my arms out enjoying the wind and yeah <laughs> absolutely getting where's your kayak you look like you're, um, <laughs> you're ready to go fishing yeah. Oh look, there's my fishing spot. Oh look, there's kingfish. Bloody better not be. Do I get a good bird's eye view of it from up here? I could stay here all day, it's incredible. All right, I'm gonna start heading down. It's starting to get cold, which is why I have all these layers on. And uh, we'll go back to the boat, see how the others went. Dude, it's a messy little spot this morning in here. It's not the beautiful calm day that it was yesterday morning. That, 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 and that. All right, this morning is not exactly started out how I anticipated. My live bait pool was not on the rocks and it was in the ocean, because the swell is bigger. But uh, fortunately, I managed to go get it. And because because the swell is bigger and the wind is still cranking, I'm just going to wait it out for a while. And also I have no bait apart from live bait. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna catch some crabs just like I used to do. Try to get a snapper, bit of that, throw some lures and the wind's meant to drop a bit later on and the tide's dropping. And when that happens, I'll start sending some live baits out. I'll just be patient and wait for the conditions to be good for it. Just none of the guys on kayaks has been doing well on the Kings, so I feel pessimistic to come out and just cast non-stop if they're not getting them at the bait schools. Oh, I had a fish on, I didn't even know it. It was just eating it and sitting on it. Well, how about that, eh? First fish for the morning. What's it gonna be? A snapper, of course. What else would it be? It's a nice little snapper. We're gonna keep this one because we're getting a few fillets for the guys to take home now. And that's a beautiful eating size. That's a fish. Didn't ever know that was on either. All right, what do we got? Pigfish. Oh, we might just let this one go. The guys don't seem to be keeping these, so. He's in good condition, we'll just let him go. If you eat my bait again, I might have to keep you though, mate, okay? Just so you know. Let's 
going to swim down? Yep. He's alright. I think I might be on. Yep. I saw that line starting to disappear. Another one. Another one to keep. I reckon. I'll just keep a couple of these. Bites. This is a better size one, maybe. Yep. Bit better. Gee, there's so many snapper. We'll keep this one as well, and then we'll probably start releasing a few. I'm gonna have to go down to get this one. Oh. We'll have to run these back to the fridge soon or get one of the boys in the kayaks too. It's a nice fat one, that one. Alright, conditions are finally looking reasonable. Tide has dropped enough, wind is backing off. I'm going to send a live out and I'll probably just start casting top water lures as well. We're just going to pepper the top water zone and see if we can get this king. Um, and if all else fails, I've already caught a couple of snapper and I might try for a couple more later. But yeah, let's try get this uh, king, the elusive kingfish of New Zealand for me. They have not been wanting to play the game for me, but anyway. Oh, there's something on it. Yep, 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 what's that? There's a snapper eating my livey. There's a big snapper. I just saw that. What the heck, man? All right, let's send that back out. Yeah. Just got the one or two? I got three. Okay. One. Two, oh, it went over the side. Oh, he's, he's on your left right there. On your left. Yep, yeah, there we go. Done. Cheers for that. The biggest fish is mine, if anyone asks. No. I said the biggest one is mine, I'll give you a shove. Just gonna throw top water for a little while. Oh no, I've just caught a gannet. Ah, <laughs> <sighs> gotcha. All right. Go. Should you bugger? Oh, done. Well, that was something different. We got him away. It's all good. Well, if it's good enough to pull the gun out, hopefully it's good enough to kill it, pull the kingfish. There's a fish on mine. It better bloody hook up. It's a kingy, I mean, it's a um, snapper eating my livey again. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. It's come up and he's nailed it again. I don't even know how big that is. 
Alright, come on. I'm just going to wait. I'm going to get a big bait soon. I'm going to throw it there. Oh, yep. That time. Come on. Oh, pulled hooks. Bugger you. Oh, fish. I'm on. I'm on. I'm on. What is it? Oh, it's not very big. It's a car wire. <laughs> I got excited. <sighs> no kings following it. Is that a king on it? Is that a king on it? No, a bunch more car wire. I'm going to keep this guy's bait because I got no fresh bait at the moment. So. There we go. I'm gonna go again and see. Let's go again, let's see if there's anything else out there. Two baits going up the end, we'll have a cast and then we're going. How do I hook a little snapper on such a big bait? Or is it not a little snapper? Feels like a little snap. Yeah, little snap, huge bait. I think I have a fish on. Not even a big one though, I don't think. Unless it hasn't woken up yet. I just watched my line slowly go out. And I was like, here we go. Mm, this one's coming home with me, it's got hooked. All right, let's go. Let's go. Alright, we're heading back to the boat now. That's all the fishing done for me for today. Um, bit of an uneventful day, except for, as usual, snapper. Lots and lots of snapper. I did get a car wire on, um, on a lure, which was cool. A little bit of excitement there for a split second before I realised it wasn't big. And I reckon I'm going to take the kayak out tomorrow and do some exploring and fishing from that instead. Just it's one of the last days. I think it's, it is the second last day, really, or the last day. Um, unless we do something the following day, briefly. Yeah. Just enjoying my cruise back, checking out the views. Such an incredible place. And the boat was there, but it's moved into what we call the Arches, which is a very cool spot around here that cops the northerly, but um, it's now west. So hopefully it's all right. Got to go and weave in 